Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 20 August 2020, Thursday night, 9 o'clock time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel. We have a very fun sale tonight. I think I'll call it comfort food of cutlery with some spices or something like that. It's just a really nice bunch of knives. Uh, some kind of unusual things sprinkled in, but mostly wheelhouse knives. Priced well, ready for you guys to snatch up. It's going to be fun. Before we get to the inventory, some preliminaries as usual. First of all, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment. They will also be reprinted in the description underneath this video if you'd like to read them more closely without pausing the video. Above the terms of the sale in the description, there will be three links to previous videos. Uh, the first one is to a video entitled A Primer for Buyers. That is a half an hour plus expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. The second link is to my FAQs for consigners video. If you are in need of moving some of your collection along to make room for fresh stuff or finance the necessities of life, that video explains how it works on this weekly event from the consigners perspective. The third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So you've got those three links, then you've got the terms, and in the bottom of the description, the list of tonight's inventory complete with timestamps and pricing. The number to the left of the slash is your as shown price. The number to the right, your as sharpened price, and there will be next day sharpening tonight. The first six knives purchased to be sharpened in tonight's sale will be done tomorrow, Friday the 21st, with the As Shown inventory. If you want your knife sharpened but you don't make it into the first six, it's going to be about four weeks for sharpening. That is the current backlog for the Apostle P Knife Service. I think that's about it for housekeeping. Time to get the terms up on the screen for you, and we'll be right back with the inventory. Here are the terms. All right, all right, all right. It is time to get rolling with tonight's sale. First up, just one left over from last week. And I'm afraid it comes out of my personal collection. This is a special factory order by Roy Humanic from Great Eastern Cutlery. Roy, Roy likes to do special factory orders whenever GEC does. A split back Whitler. This one is in Northfield trim. It is the number 133317. Split back Whitler made on the 13 Congress frame in deep chestnut jig bone. I believe this is one of 50 in the deep chestnut jig bone. Comes with this button. And here is the knife. A gorgeous Congress pattern. 3 and 11 16 inches in closed length. There is that deep chestnut jig bone. Triple lined bolsters. Sort of a bent gimp shield. Main blade on a cam tang is a sheep's foot with the American etch. Very hard to get the camera to pick that up without reflection. There we go. Pull on that main blade is a 7. 
And then both secondaries are on half stops. It's a pen. And another pen. You will note on this knife there is a slight bit of rub on the main and on one of the secondaries. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, a little bit of liner rub on that secondary, but that's how they made it. <clears throat> Probably from assembly and working the knife uh, in the factory. Other than that, it is like new in the tube. Um, just got that little, those little character marks. So, we ran this last week at 300 bucks, got no takers. I dropped it to 260 on Saturday and wrote firm. But, you know, we're going to do this one more time. 240 like it is for the 13 American Whittler. 275 if you'd like me to sharpen all three blades. I would strongly suggest this, though, as a safe queen rather than a user. But up to you guys on that. This is in your inventory as GEC number 13, American Whittler. Next up, a pretty cool knife from HEA Designs. According to the card, we have a model EQ V2 TI with M390 blade steel, a titanium handle made in mid-2018, number 91 of 150. A very cool knife. Titanium frame and handle, of course, with a very finely milled pattern. I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up adequately. But that milling also carries to the milled titanium clip. A very organically shaped design. Titanium frame lock steel insert. Floating blue titanium backspacer. Perfect detent, perfect ball bearing flipping action. Look at that sort of Persian harpoon. Uh, <clears throat> bead blasted bevels and recess and swedge and then satin flats. Blade length is 3 and 9 sixteenths. The handle is 5 inches. There is your lock engagement right where you want it. It is rock solid. Centering right down the middle. I'm going to call this one excellent in box. As you can see, there is some carry wear on the clip and the handle, but well uh, hidden by that fine milling, I think. Uh, this particular model from HEA Design is out of stock everywhere. When they were in stock, Web pricing was about $320. This one can be yours. Excellent inbox. $200. 200 bucks. $200. And then $225 if you like my edge on that M390 blade. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory is HEA Designs EQ2. Next up. <clears throat> We have an old style box from Chris Reeve Knives with no labels on the ends. Uh, please note, this knife is about eight years old and it's going to come with just the card, the knife, and some tissue paper. Okay? No cloth, no tools with this one. But speaking of the card, this tells us the knife was made 2012, March the 18th. The card, I'm sorry, it was built in 2012. The card was reissued March 18th of this year by Chris Reed. So it might have been back for some maintenance. It is a small Sebenza 21 with the Madagascar Rosewood inlay. Here is the knife. What a little beauty it is. Now, guys, you're going to notice a little bit of wear. In the satin, or the polished finish, as Chris Reeve likes to call it. This knife has been carried, but I think it must have gone back for a Chris Reeve edge. And guys, they did just fine. Um, this is, 
I would say far sharper than they usually do. You've got your polished finish on the blade. <clears throat> so it's kind of a fine satin in that hollow grind. It makes the blade a little thinner than it would be if it were the standard stone wash finish. <clears throat> There's your lock engagement. Perfect. Rock solid. Free dropping blade. Tuned perfectly down the middle. Now if you buy a wood inlaid polished finish small Sabenza 21, well if you could find one uh, the last pricing for these before they went out of stock to make room for the 31s was $4.75. <clears throat> this one was probably less than that when it was new, of course. Uh, but you can have this one. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to call it excellent to near mint just because of the handle wear. No cloth or tools, but in box. Your price three fifty three five zero. Now, if you want my edge on it, add twenty. Doesn't need anything done to the internals. So three seventy sharpened, and this is in your inventory as Chris Reeves Small Sabenza twenty one. <clears throat> Next up, boy, if you don't have one of these in the glove box or of your pickup truck or boat, you need one from Cold Steel. We have the Code Four, kind of the legendary Code Four, to be frank. We have a clip point blade in CTS XHP Carpenter Steel. Uh, the knife doesn't come with a box and it's got the slightest bit of clip wear. Other than that, and you guys know how this uh, hard anodized gray aluminum wears, like iron or like hard anodized aluminum. Uh, zero blade play. Nice free blade action. Centering, I'm going to call close. <clears throat> so near mint, no box. It is in XHP, which you can't buy anymore. How about 70 bucks? 70 for the code 4. 90 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. Next up, I said we had cutlery comfort food tonight, and here we go. How about a little mini grip? Norrell GTX black handles. This one is wearing a Parkerized Emerson style clip. BK1 coated 154CM blade with the big old bold Mel Party Maker's Mark. There is only the very slightest of edge wear on this knife. Its lockup is rock solid. It is a free drop and blade. It's running. What did I say here? I'm saying the centering is close on this one. So it's going to be near mint, near mint, no box. Your price. 75 bucks and by the way i don't think you can buy 154 cm mini grips anymore so if you love that steel and you need one here you go 75 bucks 95 with an apostle p edge next day sharpening available if it's among the first six next up it shot across the sky like a bright comet from benchmade in the blue box the last Knife design for bench made by Warren Osborne. This is the 928 Proxy, released after his death, thus the name of the model. And guys, <clears throat> it was a knife they didn't make very long. I don't think everybody loved it, and I don't know why. Because it's kind of cool. Um, it's got some Strider SNG ergos and kind of a, whoops and kind of Strider SNG-ish in this area. Uh -huh. CPM 20 CV with a very velvety bead blast. Titanium frame lock with that Coyote Tan G10 scale. The mono lock adjustable lock accomplished with the hex insert. 
This one is set early and it has zero lock slip. That is a, a condition that has plagued many a proxy. It's a ball bearing flipper. It's perfectly centered. It has only extremely slight carry wear, just a few small trails in this area. Uh, superb mechanics for a proxy. The ball bearing pivot works flawlessly. Now they're not going to be super drop shutty with the lock resting on the tang just because there's a lot of lock bar tension on these. <clears throat> but still a super smooth operating knife and super fine ergonomics, especially if you utilize that forward shoil. Mm. Kind of a Zulu spear blade shape too. This is first production run number 249 of a thousand. Its condition is going to be very near mint in box. Uh, they're discontinued and out of stock at this point. These were well over 300 bucks when they were new. This one can be yours for $200 and then $225 with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening available if you're one of the first six this week. Next up, here's a pretty cool knife from Mike Snowdy and Benchmade. This is the 4200S resistor. The handle or the frame of this knife is a dark hard gray anodized aluminum overlaid with some creatively milled crowned and blasted G10 scales. It is an auto axis knife. You've got the safety on the spine and then you just pull back the axis bar and thwack out comes that gorgeous snowy blade crafted of 154 cm with another velvety bead blast. Combo edge and long enough blade that it's actually usable. <clears throat> it's three and nine sixteenths inches of blade, four and five eighths inches of handle, rock solid lockup, beautiful centering and auto axis action. Mm -hmm. Only a little bit of wear where the paint has chipped off that deep carry clip. So we're going to call this one Near Mint No Box. These are out of stock everywhere. When they were in stock, they were $2.99. This one can be yours for $160, $160, and $180 with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Benchmade 4200S Resistor. Next up, my personal favorite knife in the entire sale. You guys better jump on it quick. Because if you don't, it's going to stay here. It's a little diminutive Spider Co. in the special pouch. Not the box, the special pouch. Special pouch, special knife. And guys, I have seen pictures of this knife online for years. And I am here to tell you, the pictures do not do it justice. And I'm sure my camera... In this video won't do this handle justice. <clears throat> this is the Chaparral with stepped titanium frame. And it's not like uh, it's not like engine turned perlage. This is deep textured intricate milling in that titanium handle. Out of the handle comes that work of art that 83 thousandths thick CTS XHP blade a shade under three inches, I believe. Seki City midlock lockback, beautifully hafted. Got the deep carry reversible tip up paper clip clip. Smooth as silk. Centering is right down the middle. Zero blade play. I detect very, very slight edge wear. And I can't even find it. So I'm going to call it near mint to like new in pouch. <clears throat> uh, it looks like for some reason, these knives were generally up in the mid to high 200s web pricing. I found them in stock at Knife Center for $199 or you can buy this one for $170, $170 than 190 if you like my edge on it. 
which is probably worth doing on that skinny XHP blade because you'll get maximum performance. This is in your inventory as Spyderco Chaparral Stepped TI. Next up, oh, how about a Thai Millie? Yeah. So this is a gently used Titanium Framelock Spyderco Military. Just some super slight trails on the handle. A little bit of wear on the clip. There's that big 4-inch Millie Blade CPM S30V. This is the later version of the Thai Millie with the steel lock face insert. Lockup is rock solid. Centering is beautiful. The action is warm butter. I mean warm butter. I'm not right-handed, but trust me, guys, it's warm butter. <clears throat> a superb example. These are discontinued and out of stock. Near mint, no box. Your price, $175. $175, like it is, with an Apostle P Edge, $195. Under $200 with my Edge. Shipped priority mail. It's in your inventory is Spyderco Military TI. Next up, oh boy, this is like an old pair of blue jeans right here from Spyderco, Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. It's a paramilitary too. It's got brown G10, it's got a DLC blade. Blade steel is S35VN. It's been used a little. There's a little bit of burnishing going on in that DLC. But it's been lovingly cared for. Oh! Yeah, it's really that good. I think it's kind of down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect action, perfect lockup, perfect centering, gently used. Let's see, if you want to buy a new one of these, <clears throat> I believe you can find them at your favorite web retailer of fine cutlery for $174. Or just buy this one, a buck twenty. One twenty as shown, one forty with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening is available if you're among the first six. That is in your inventory as Spider Copera 2 BRN DLC S35. Next up, <clears throat> it's another Spyderco. It's another Spyderco from Golden. It is the Manix 2 lightweight, wearing that purple composite handle with the reversible paper clip clip. And this one in S110V. Uh huh. Free swinger. Rock solid lockup. Centering is very close. Condition, <clears throat> light canoe in the box, never carried, never cut anything. Map pricing on these in this condition, like new, from your favorite web retailer is $143. Or just buy this one, shipped priority mail for $110. $135 with an Apostle P Edge, and next day sharpening is available if it's among the first six. This one, sh this one shows up in your inventory as Spyderco Manix 2 LW Burple S110V. Next, it's another one of my favorite box. This one, uh, this is pretty cool. They keep this knife alive and look what they've done. This is the Spyderco Rescue 3. It is now all built on what appears to be a stretch handle, which is a little more ergonomic than an Endura handle, because you got forward action. The Rescue, of course, comes in VG10 with a full spider edge and a sheep's foot blade, so you can extricate a trapped motorist from his harness <clears throat> without cutting them. Seki City Lockback, you know how they work. Lockup is rock solid. Centering is right down the middle. Condition, never carried, never used, like new, in the box. 
you buy one of these brand new at your favorite retailer, you're going to pay $98 minimum advertised price. Or just buy this one with free priority mail shipping for $75. No need to touch that brilliantly executed Spider Edge. Next up. Oh my, it's the last Spider Co. in the sale. Uh, there's your box. There's your sticker. This is the Hanan. The Hanan, which I believe is the Hebrew word for grace. Designed by Brad Southerd. We have a titanium frame with beautiful satin finished G10 scales. A compression lock and a ball bearing flipper. It kind of wants to be flipped like a light switch, guys. Because if you flip it like a push button, sometimes the compression lock is a bit of a skin getter. Just so you know. Ball bearing flipper. Bit of a soft detent, but with proper flipping technique, not an issue. There's the Southern logo. It's produced in Taichung, Taiwan. So you get that gorgeous polished stone wash very cool looking blade very cool looking blade notice how the handle flows with the blade very nice let's see s30v is your blade steel three inches is your blade length three and fifteen sixteenths is your handle by the way action centering lock up all perfect it is like new in the box. Map pricing on this knife, if you want to buy a new one at your favorite retail establishment, it's going to cost you 200 Or you just buy this one. Same condition, same box, same knife. Free shipping, priority mail, 140 140 and 160 with an Apostle P. Edge next day sharpening available if you're one of the first six tonight. Next up, from... The Benchmade Knife Company. We have a model 202 Luku. Kind of a cool knife. The Luku, as you might expect from its in sheath profile, designed by a Finlander. Yeah, now when you look at that, you think, oh yeah, Finland. Uh huh. Must be some kind of a nice, thin, sort of trailing point fillet knife, right? Well, no. Not quite. I'm gonna, uh, first, I'm going to talk about the sheath. It's a nice fold-over, thin leather sheath with a plastic insert for durability. Belt loop, and then in the box, there's an extra leather dangle if you want to make it drop lower. And a fire steel loop. Okay, I know what you're expecting, but look at this blade. Yeah, it's almost got kind of a drop point, kind of bolo profile. Thick stock, too, for a finished knife. I think that's five thirty seconds. Five and an eighth inches of CPM three V. This is a first production run knife. I can't read the number. Maybe you guys can. Then you've got some kind of a rubberish over molded handle material, very Finlander in design. Just a really cool, lightweight but robust camp knife. Uh, by the way, the handle or the handle length. Is four and seven sixteenths just the right amount of real estate? Works in a variety of grips, just a little palm swell, beautiful texture, lanyard hole. Very cool knife. The right steel, the right grind for what it is. Just a super well designed piece of cutlery. Uh, it is like new in the box. If you buy this knife brand new, it's going to run you 140 at your favorite internet retailer. Or you just buy this one, like new in the box, with sheath and extra dangle. Um, huh. $115, guys. $115, like it is. $145 with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Benchmade Luku 202. Next up, boy, this little knife is getting some buzz. <clears throat> it's a black box bench made from, originally from Sportsman's Warehouse. 
the model 575-1 Mini Presidio 2. I love the Mini Presidio 2. I love it. And this latest iteration, the Dash 1, comes with what Benchmade is calling their CF Elite handle scale material. So I guess it's a reinforced nylon product with a ton of carbon fiber swimming around in the mix. It almost shimmers like carbon fiber, doesn't it? And it's got a really cool texturing, not overly aggressive, but definitely let you know it's there. The blade is S30V. This is first production knife number 99 of 500. That gorgeous swedged spear point. Free drop in action. Down the middle centering. Lock up is perfection. What a great little knife. My buddy Peter, the landscaper, works the heck out of his. He bought one of these when they first came out. He's had it for basically a whole landscaping season, and I just sharpened it for him the other day. Um, he loves it. I love it. <clears throat> uh, anyway, map pricing on this knife, brand new, is $123 from your favorite retailer. This one is absolutely like new in box with perfect mechanics. It can be yours. Shipped to your door, priority mail, $100. $120 with an Apostle P Edge, and that can be done tomorrow, Friday the 21st, if it's one of the first six knives in line from tonight's sale. That is Benchmade 575-1 Mini Presidio 2. Next up. Apparently, rumors of the demise of this knife might have been exaggerated because I found some in stock. It's another black box bench made. It's the 810 Contego, the original Contego coloration and configuration with that aggressively sort of fish skeleton milled black G10. A big old four inch ish Warren Osborne blade. It's long, it's broad, but it's thinly ground. It's got some mass, and it will cut, it will shear, and it will never go dull, quotation marks, air quotes, because it's CPM M4, coated in gray Cerakote for corrosion protection. This particular one oh, has a free swinging <clears throat> pivot, rock solid lockup, and I think the centering is right down the middle. Uh-huh. Condition is near mint and box. The only reason I'm not going to call it like new, got a little clip wear from that highly polished deep carry clip. So, I found these in stock at Blade HQ for $212 if you got to have a new one. Or you just buy this one for $140. Call Benchmade, have them send you a clip. That is 140 shipped, priority mail 165 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge, and you should. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's the Benchmade Contego. Next up, I remember this time. It's a blue box Benchmade. It is a 550-1 Griptilian, perhaps the most beloved mass-produced Griptilian ever. It's got that gorgeous gray g10 with the milled checkering the satin finish the blue liners the blue standoffs the deep carry parkerized clip which i don't believe this knife came with i think somebody had to make a phone call it's got the opening hole sheep's foot blade and i sharpened this for my consigner i think when it was brand new or maybe bought it for i don't know and he used it a little so I just touched up the micro bevel on my ultra fine Spyderco bench stone and some straps. So it doesn't need to be sharpened again. It's it's got an apostle P edge freshly freehand touched up, plenty sharp. 20 C V blade by the way. Matte pricing on this knife, 187 for a brand new one. Or you can have this one with a freshly touched up the Apostle P Edge, touched up by the Apostle P. 150, 150, no need to sharpen. 
That's your in your inventory is Benchmade 550-1 grip G1020CV. Next up, speaking of grip tellions, we got another one. This is the 553-S30V. Huh. <clears throat> so, Griptilian model number 553 means full-size grip. Tonto blade. And what a well-done Tonto it is. That is a working knife right there. And the steel is, yes, S30V. We've got the Parkerized Emerson-style clip. We have zero blade play. We have superb grip action. You know, we don't love the sound, do we? Until we get nervous. And then we kind of like, it's kind of like, it's like one of those relaxation tapes we play when we're trying to go to sleep. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Mm-hmm. Condition, like new in the box. This knife is available new at your favorite web retailer for $110. Or just buy this one. It's a perfect example. It's like new in the box. It's $90. Bucks. Nine zero, then one fifteen if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. So basically, you can almost buy this one with a real cutting edge. For about the same price as a new one. Mm -hmm. That's in your inventory. It's Benchmade 553-S30V Tanto Grip. Next up. Oh. Who wants a 940? It's not a 940S-2. It's a 940-1 in the wrong box. Who wants a 940-1, but you don't want to pay 265 freaking dollars for one? Well, here you go. Here you go, boys. Carbon fiber handle. Anodized blue aluminum standoffs. Parkerized Emerson style clip. Now look at the clip. It's Parkerized. Look how beautiful it gets with a little bit of pocket wear. S90V blade. It's kind of an acidy stone wash. This one has been used and sharpened, but mechanically rock solid lockup. Nice action. Beautiful centering. So here's the deal, guys. Wrong box. Excellent condition. Yeah. Now, generally, when I sell these and they're, you know, near mint to like new, they do about $220, $225. This one, here's what we'll do. $175, like it is, or have me sharpen it. And, you know, we'll, we'll clean up the choil area. We'll straighten out the cutting edge. We'll... Make sure the tip is nice and pointy for 200. So 175 like it is, 200 with the Apostle P 940 edge treatment. Mm -hmm. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory is Benchmade 940-1. Next up, any bug out fans out there? <clears throat> Don't all speak up at once because I know there's a lot of you. From Benchmade, we have a bug out, number 535BK-1903, Knife Center Exclusive. I remember, I got this customer in Florida named Scott. Spells his name with an E, not an O. Um, his last name. He was Gaga for this knife when he saw pictures of it. I'm not sure if you ever got one. This is... A very interesting bug out. So I think the handle scales are the same material as the standard bug out, but they've got like a black wash finish on them. So it's red, FRN, or whatever they call it, with a black coating and then tumbled. Your hardware is all red anodized aluminum. You got a Cerakoted blade, S30V. Now this has got an owner applied polished edge and it's pretty good okay i'm going to offer you a sharpen price on this knife but i'm not saying it needs it uh, lock up rock solid action pretty good centering i think is right down the middle it's kind of hard it is right down the middle hard to see that blade gets so skinny but it's good 
Parkerized shorty clip. So condition, I'm going to say near mint in box. Uh, Knife Center has these in stock. They are the only retailer for 140 or you just buy this one for 110 If you want my edge on it, add 20 but I'm not sure it really needs sharpened. That's in your inventory as Benchmade 535BK-1903 bug out. Next up, you know, there are a couple knives that need not much description from me. The 940, the Paramilitary 2, and this one. The 560 BK-1 Freak. Its real name is nowhere on the label. It is the Super Freak. Why Super? Well, first of all, it's gorgeous. The sort of random mill pattern, black and gray G10. Oh, and then there's those red liners and red standoffs. And oh, wait, there is a Parkerized split arrow clip. Okay, we're ticking all my boxes, boys. Then there's this. Not only is it gorgeous, not only does it have belly, not only is it slicey, but it's CPM M4. Oh, this one has been lovingly used. You might see just a little burnishing in the Cerakote. There might be one little nick by the spine. The Parkerized clip, they always look worn. The lockup is rock solid. The action is free swinging. The centering is beautiful. We're going to call this one Near Mint in the box. Map pricing for the Super Freak, your favorite web retailer, is $192, I believe. Or just buy this one. Shipped priority mail. $160. $185 on Apostle P. Edge. That is the Benchmade Super Freak. I'm not going to sing it this time. Next up. We're going to the Hunt series from Benchmade. It's a 15080-2 Crooked River. It's a beauty. Diamond wood scales, hard anodized gray aluminum bolsters, orange pivot collars, orange backspacer, Parkerized deep carry Benchmade clip, and one of the best looking clip point blades ever put on a Benchmade knife. Maybe the best looking. S30V, doggone near four inches. Lock up, rock solid. Free swing in action. Blade, uh, near perfect if it's not perfect. Condition on this one. Like new in the box, never carried, never used. 221 is how much they cost for a new one at your favorite web retailer. Or just buy this one. 180. 180. 200 with an Apostle P Edge next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory as Benchmade 15080 2 Crooked River. Next up, we are going bold with a ZT knife. This one designed by Gus Ciccini, GTC Knives. The ZT 0055. In S30V. Do you see the Ciccini influence? It's hard to miss. You have a five inch handle, intricately milled. The geometric shapes are so consistent. Then you got that GTC disappearing flipper. It sends the blade out of that titanium steel inserted frame lock on ball bearings. Look at that GTC blade shape. Uh huh. 3 and 11 sixteenths inches in length. Got a reversible tip up pocket clip. Rock solid lock up. Perfect centering. Now, the flipping action, guys, is very good, but keep your fingers off the lock bar because it's got a robust. Detent. Condition on this one is near mint in box. This is a discontinued knife. They were well over 200 bucks when they were new, I believe. Uh, DLT has some left in stock at a clearance price of 170. This one can be yours. 
for 130, 130, then 165 if you'd like. I'm sorry, 155, 155 with an Apostle P edge. That is the ZT0055. Next up, I am not a Balasom guy. But this, my friends, is a work of art for not much money. This is the Kershaw 5150 Lucha. Man, how cool. This thing is cool, boys. Look at that. <clears throat> that is a super fine bead blasted stainless steel handle. A perfectly operating latch. Oh, oh my. Look at that, guys. That is four and five eighths inches of swedged clip point Sandvik 14C28 and steel. American made knife from Kershaw. Gorgeous stone wash. The handle, I think, is 5 and 9 sixteenths. And here's what I think makes this special. Watch. You, I can flex this handle, but there's no play. I mean none. But ball-bearing action, boys. Ball-bearing action. And when it's fully open... There is zero blade play. No handle play, no blade play. When it's closed, and this will be hard to show, I think, because there's a lot going on in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that blade is dead down the middle. Really, really nice work. This is like new in the box. I'm not, I'm not a Balasong flipper, but I'll guarantee you it flips great. Matt price on this knife you buy a brand new one is 120 or just buy this one it's like new in the box and it's perfect 90 bucks 90 110 with an apostle p edge that is in your inventory as kershaw lucha next up well here's an interesting little package i told you in the heads up video we had a couple packages so we're going to call this the kershaw natrix bundle so we got two Natrixes. The first one comes in the box, and it's the 7007 CU Copper Natrix. Okay, so the Copper Natrix has a copper handle with probably a stainless steel subframe lock, and it's in D2 steel. Ball bearing flipper, subframe lock. It is like new in the box. Now uh, we're going to call it near mint inbox. It seems like the copper's starting to pick up a little tarnish already. Um, but there's no, no issues with it, absolutely. Like new, except for a little bit of patina coming up on that copper like it's supposed to. Um, so you get that knife. Then you get this knife. So this is the Natrix CF. So there's a blue G10 with a very thin carbon fiber laminate. Also ball bearing flipper, which operates perfectly. A little bit of a gray coating on the lock bar on the blade. 8CR13 is your blade steel, rock solid lockup, perfect flipping action, perfect centering. This one's like new no box. So near my near mint inbox, like new no box. The copper natrix runs. 75 bucks map pricing. The CF Matrix runs 48 map pricing. That's 123 total if you bought these new. You can buy them both for 90 shipped priority mail. Plus 20 each to sharpen. That's in your inventory is the Kershot Matrix bundle. Next up. Were you wanting a mic Microtech OTF Auto, but you didn't want to pay $250 to $400 for one? Well, here you go. 
here you go guys this is a full-size ultra tech with the new contoured handle produced July of 2017 you got your skull crusher glass breaker you got a little bit of carry wear on this knife look at your corners look at your clip so we have a blue top black body fairly firm button effort on this one and you have your combo edge tanto edge m390 blade hundred percent reliable uh, this knife brand new was purchased by my consigner for $270 at Blade HQ. This one can be yours. Excellent, no box. 170, 170, and then 200 if you'd like me to sharpen it. Next day sharpening available if it's among the first six tonight. That's in your inventory as Microtech Ultratech TE. So, let's see what's next. How about, I love an out the front automatic Tonto, but I don't have that kind of money. Well, here you go, boys. And a cool little plastic box from No Limit Knives. It is an out the front automatic. It's the Hydrax. The Hydrax. Uh -huh. There we go. Kind of an interesting handle. There's a little texture in that anodized aluminum. Got a very micro techy clip, but it's kind of that square ish OTF design, which generally indicates a spine mounted switch, but this one is on the side. There's your blade, it's in D2. It's got a really firm operating button, man. really firm it's not gonna fail it's a thunk let's see blade length is three and a half the handle is five it's like new in the box you can i think still buy a new one of these at blade hq for 125 bucks or just buy this one like new in the box for 70 seven zero 95 if i sharpen it Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six tonight. That's the No Limits Hydrax OTF. Next up, we had one of these a couple weeks ago, and I loved it. Different blade shape, but we got another one from Hogue Knives. This is the model 24263 Deca. I love what they've done here. Alan Elishowitz designed the knife. And it shows it is a G Mascus blue, black, and gray handle. So it's like a layered G10 different colors. Reversible tip up clip with a fill tab. Post patent bench made access lock. And then you've got a very interesting blade. CPM 20 CV is your blade steel. Gorgeous stone watch. 3 and 3 sixteenths is your blade length. 4 and a quarter is your handle. Perfect lockup. Perfect action. Perfect centering on the axis lock. Condition on this one, guys, is like new in the box. I did find this exact knife in stock at Knife Center for $124. Or you just buy this one. A perfect example, like new in the box, for $100. $100 and $130 with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Hogue 24263 Deca. Next up, from Boker Plus... We have the Boker Plus Vox F3, designed by Jesper Voxnes. <clears throat> this is kind of an old school knife. It is robust. Look at that blade stock. That's got to be 3 16 if it's anything. It's S35VN. <clears throat> 
It's three and a quarter inches of clip point overbuilt robustitude. Acid stone wash. Then you got an acid stone wash titanium frame. Right hand tip down or up on the pocket clip. Steel inserted titanium frame lock. Running on phosphor bronze washers. The centering is perfect. The action's perfect. It's got a very stiff lock bar. It's a man's knife, boys. Four and five eighths is your handle length. That back spacer will also do double duty as a glass breaker skull crusher. It is like new in the box. Perfect action, perfect lockup, perfect centering. 150 seems to be the going web price for this knife. Or just buy this one. It's like new in the box. 120, 120. And 140 if you like it with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Boker Plus Vox F3. Next up, I think I said in my heads up video that there was a cool SOG knife, and it is a cool SOG knife. Here you go. It is the SOG Terminus XR. Now they've made this knife in a couple configurations, so this is going to be kind of the mid tier knife. It does have the CTS BDZ1 steel, and it's a G10 with carbon fiber laminate handle. It's pretty cool though. You can thumb it out. Yeah, you, you really can. You can thumb it out, or you can flip it. It's got a very nice, let's see if I can show you this. Okay. It's got a nice tang detent with the spring of the XR lock. It's, it's more robust than a Benchmade axis lock. It's riding on ball bearings. But if you just keep the thing back, you can flick it closed like it didn't have any detent at all. Pretty cool. So the XR lock, I think, is saw. It's better than their old arc lock. It's basically an axis lock with different... Uh, buttons, I guess you call them, but you know, it, it works exactly like an axis lock. Much better than the arc lock. There you go. Cool little blade, and it is CTS BDZ1, three inches long. The handle four and an eighth. Absolutely rock solid lockup, perfect action, perfect centering. Condition. Like new in the box. My seller paid 85 bucks for this knife at Blade HQ. He's selling it for 50. Five zero. And then 70. If you'd like my edge on it. Next day sharpening is available. If it's one of the first six tonight, that is the SOG Terminus XR. Okay, guys, the last item in the sale. Check it out. I said in my heads up video. That if you knew a young person or a brand new collector who was just getting into knives or showing the interest and you wanted to get them started with four knives that kind of run an interesting spectrum and not spend a lot of money, here you go. We're calling this the New Collector Starter Bundle. All CRKT knives. Okay, first up, you have the kettlebell, which is a kind of a short, stubby steel frame lock. A little forward choil, stubby blade with a little sort of a harpoon thing going on, probably 8CR. I don't know. Just a basic knife, steel frame lock. I don't know if that's FRN or, I don't know what that is. It's, I don't know. It's kind of rigid. Um, but, you know. Like a two and a half inch blade kind of thing. Okay, you got that. Then you have... Then you have the CEO. Look at that. It's like a super thin profile Quiken. But when you drop this in your pocket, it's going to look like a pen. Very interesting texture. I think that's a... I don't 
think that's carbon fiber, but it might be. And then look at this. Yeah, how about that? That's about, I don't know, a little over three inches. It's on ball bearings. Nice liner lock. Clicks out. Yeah, it's cool. So you got the CEO. Then you got the fossil. And this is the large fossil. It's almost four inches in blade length. You got that cool multicolored I think that's mill G10 over kind of a rock pattern stainless steel frame and then you got oh it's a flipper and you got that blade pretty it looks very oniony I think it is oniony it is no it's a Kona how about that anyway rock solid ball bearing flipper and then you have the A.G. Russell designed, kind of an ankle knife. Comes in a plastic lined nylon sheath with Velcro attachments. And it's a dagger, an integral. So it's a coated single piece of steel, double edged dagger. Somebody's tried to sharpen it, not extremely well. So yeah, that's the A.G. Russell CRKT Sting. So you get the Sting, you get the Fossil, you get the Exec, and you get the Kettlebell. Right? Four knives. And here's how they're priced brand new. The Kettlebell's 30, the CEO's 40, the Fossil's 57, and the Sting is 40. So that's $167 new. You would pay a web pricing for these four knives. Buy it for that young collector in your life. 80 bucks, 20 each to sharpen. That's the new collector starter bundle. And that, my friends, will wrap it up for tonight. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.